Hi, now we're going to be continuing with financial maths, focusing on discounts. When you go into a shop and there's a sale and it says 50% off or 25% off or something like that, then what they're doing is they are offering a discount on the items that are on sale. And the way that it works is there's the normal selling price, which is the marked price. That's the price that you would see normally when you go into the shop and that's how much you would pay. But now because there's a sale, they take that price and they work out a percentage of that price and that is the discount, the amount, the percentage that they work out is the discount. And then they take that discount and they subtract it from the normal selling price or the marked price to give you the discounted price or the marked down price, the amount that you would pay while it is on sale. So the discount is the amount that you save and the marked down price or the discounted price is the amount that you would pay while it is on sale. Okay, so let's have a look at an example. So in this example, it says you go to the shop and see that a pair of jeans has been marked down by 15%. If the marked price or the original selling price is 200 Rand, calculate the amount of the discount. Okay, so first of all, we have been told that the normal price, the marked price or the original selling price is 200 Rand and we have to work out what the discount is. So in this one, it's actually very simple. All we need to do is work out 15% of 200 Rand. Okay, so 200 times 15% and that gives us 30 Rand. Okay, so this is not the amount that you would actually pay. This is the amount that you save. The amount you would pay would be the 200 minus the 30. That would be the discounted price or the marked down price. That's or the sale price. That's the amount that you would pay if you were to buy it while it is on sale. Okay, now I'm going to give you an example to do on your, on your own. So in this example, a chocolate has been marked down from 30 Rand to 25 Rand 50 and you need to work out what the percentage discount is. Okay, so I'm going to give you one minute to work on that. Okay, you should be done with that, so let's go through that example. So in question A, we have a chocolate. We know what the original price is, it's 30 Rand, and we know that the marked down price or the discounted price is 25 Rand 50. Okay, so we need to work out what the percentage discount is. So they're not asking us what the discount is, they're asking us what the percentage discount is. So we, we need to work out what the percentage is that has been discounted by. Okay, so first of all, let's work out what the discount is. Okay, so the discount is going to be the difference between the normal price and the marked down price. So that's going to be 30 minus 25 Rand 50. Okay, and that gives you 4 Rand 50. Now that we know what the discount is, we can work out what the percentage discount is. That is going to be the discount divided by the normal selling price or the marked price times 100 to get a percentage. Okay, so that's going to be 4 Rand 50 divided by the normal price which was 30 Rand times 100. And that gives you 15%. 
So in other words, the chocolate has been marked down by 15%. That is the percentage discount. Right, question B. In this question, a dress has been discounted by 30%. If the normal price is 500 Rand, calculate the marked down price. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute to work on this. Okay, you should be done with that, so let's go through that example. Now with this example, I actually want to show you two different approaches to doing it. The first way is to just say, well, we know that if it's been discounted by 30%, then the amount you're gonna pay is the difference, which is 70%. So I'm going to work out 70% of 500 Rand, and that'll tell me um, how much you would pay. Okay, so we are going to find out 70% of 500 rand. So 500 times 0 0.7 and that gives you 350 rand. Okay, so that is the amount that you would pay while it is on sale. Now, the other way that I want to show you is like this, is to take the, the normal price, which is the 500, this is what we have, okay? This is the, the the amount that we know. And if you think back to what we were doing when we did our percentages part of the lesson, where we said, you take the percentage you have, you divide by what you have, and you times by what you want. That's what we're going to do here. Any time that you are trying to work out a percentage of an amount, which is a different percentage to what you've already, to what you already know. And so in this case, we know the total amount of what it normally is sold for, the normal price, okay? Now, when you're working with discounts or anything like this, the normal selling price is 100%. That is the amount, that's the full amount that somebody would normally pay. So if you are offering a discount on that normal price, then you're going to take that amount and subtract it from 100%, right? So that means that the original price is 100%. So we have got 100%. So I'm going to take the 500 and divide by what we have, which is 100%, and times by what we want, which is 70%. Because again, we want to know the marked down price, which is the price after the discount has been taken off, which is the same as 100 minus 30. So I could have put over here 100 minus 30. That's how I got the 70. Okay, so 500 divided by 100 times 70, gives you also the same answer of 350 Rand. So that's just a different way of looking at it. It gets you to the same place. But the reason I wanted to highlight this way is because there are some cases where this method is not going to work for you. If you're not starting with 100%, like if we started off knowing the discounted price, then we would need to use this method. This method isn't going to work as well for us if we are starting off with a discounted price and we want to know what the discount was or if we want to know what the original price was. So it helps to remember this. So remember we take what we know and we divide by what we have and we multiply by what we want. Okay, so that was question B. Now question C. A smartphone is priced at 8,000 Rand and it is on sale at a discounted price of 6,400 Rand. Calculate the percentage discount. So I'm going to give you one minute to work on this.
Okay, you should be done with that. So let's go through those that example. So for question C, we had a price of 8,000, that's the normal price, and then the discounted price is 6,400 Rand. And we have to calculate the percentage discount. So this is going to be very similar to what we did in question A. So we're going to start off by working out what the discount amount is, by taking the normal price and subtracting the discounted price. So that's going to be 8,000 minus 6,400. And that gives you 1,600. So this is the amount that you're going to save. Okay, now we are going to go and work out the percentage discount. By taking the discount amount, which is 1,600, and dividing it by the regular price, the normal selling price or the marked price, which is 8,000, and timesing that by 100 to get a percentage. So we have 1,600 divided by 8,000 times 100, and that gives you 20%. So our discount is 20%, that, or our discount percentage, rather, is 20%. Okay, then question D. A book is sold at a 20% discount. If the original price was 250 Rand, what is the sale price? Okay, so I'm going to give you one minute to work on this. Okay, you should be done with that, so let's go through that example. So in question D, we know that the discount is 20% and that the original price was 250 Rand. We need to know what the sale price is. So this is very similar to what we had in question B, where we need to work out what the price is after the discount has been subtracted. Okay, so if the discount percentage is 20%, then the amount that you're going to pay is 80%. Okay, so it's 100% percent minus the 20 percent okay so I'm going to do it in this using the second method that I showed you earlier which is to take the 250 that's the amount that I know divide by the percentage that I have which is 100 percent and multiply by the percentage that I want which is 80 percent okay now remember that 80 is from saying 100 100 minus 20 okay so that's how I got the 80 over there Right now, you could also have just said 250 times 0 0.8, but remember, I said that this method is going to work in other situations as well, so that is why I prefer to use this method. So, we have 250 divided by 100 times 80, and that gives us 200 Rand. So, that is the sale price, that's the amount that you would pay while it is on sale. Okay. Then question E. A store is offering a discount of 25% on all its products. If you buy items for a total of 1,200 Rand, how much will you save? So I'm going to give you one minute to work on this.
Okay, you should be done with that by now. So let's go through that example. So in question E, we had the store that's, that's offering 25% discount on all of its products. We have purchased a total of 1,200 Rand worth of products. So we need to know how much we are saving on that. Okay, so first of all, we're taking the 1,200, which is the amount that we are paying. And this is the, the discounted amount, okay? So this is only 75% of the normal price. So we are going to take that and divide by the percentage we have, which in this case is 75%. And then we're going to multiply by the percentage we want, which is 25%, because we want to know how much we're gonna save. We don't wanna know what the original price was. We want to know the amount that we're saving, which is 25%. Okay, so I take the amount that I have, which is 1,200, divide by the percentage that that is, which is 20, 75%, and multiply by the percentage that I want to know, which is 25%. Okay, so this is 1,200 divided by 75 times 25, and that gives us 400 Rand. So the amount that we are saving with this uh, purchase that we're making is 400 Rand because of the discount. So if we were to work out, so if we were to take that 1,200 and plus add the 400, we would get 1,600. And if we were to work out 25% of that, so times by 2, 0.25, you'll see that 400 over there is the amount that we are saving if we work it out that way as well. Okay, so I took the amount that I know, which is the 1,200, divided it by the percentage that it is, which so this is the percentage we have, and multiplied by the percentage I wanted, which in this case was the amount or the, the amount that we save. We wanted to know how much we were saving, which is the discounted amount. So that's the 25%. That's what we wanted to know. And that gave us 400 Rand. Okay, so that is how you work with discounts in financial maths. Now that we've learned the concepts in this lesson, it's important to practice, practice, practice. If you haven't already got the worksheet that goes with this video, you can find it by clicking on the link in the description below. The worksheet comes with an extra exercise full of questions for you to work on to master the concepts covered in this lesson. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so that others can benefit from it too. Also be sure to subscribe so that you can easily find my other lessons and hit the bell so that you will get notified about lessons as I upload them.